Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flailthroughs. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is a guest video from Darth Merrick in the Gym Command Light Armor. As I think I mentioned the other day, the uh, Gym Command Light Armor started life as an illustration in the original Gym Command Space Types uh, instruction manual of what was supposed to be just the standard Gym Light Armor, but there were enough stylistic and minor detail differences that it uh, merited becoming its own suit. And as you can see, it has a really nice downswing. Um, the level 1 was exclusive to a token pack, I think about a year ago, maybe more, a little more, a little less. But uh, there's now a level 2, which was a uh, mission over the holidays. Unfortunately, I flaked on it, so I only have the level 1. But uh, hopefully it'll show up in the recycle ticket store in due time. But, uh, or, you know, they'll rerun the missions. They do both of those things sometimes. Good damage there. Got countered, but still did a lot of damage to the mobile suit on the left. And is about to do a lot of damage to this one. Okay. Well, between that and uh, number two, who is in a Gim Camuff, they, they definitely got it. Merrick is going to go take the point. Since an enemy did just get killed, that's a little bit tricky. But they may spawn in and try to stop him, thusly. But, uh, okay, well, they both missed. Merrick due to iframes and, uh, and, uh, the, uh, enemy pilot due to, uh, missing. But, yeah, Merrick managed to get them down via flash grenade, and when they got back up, he managed to, uh, get them killed. So, yeah. I think, from the look of things, they've added iframes for pilots once they fall down and get back up, which I don't... If that was a thing before, I don't remember it, but uh, I may just have never been in that specific set of circumstances before. But, yeah, let's see. You know, a good plan on Merrick's part to just uh, back off, because otherwise he would have knocked down his ally. And, unfortunately, his ally is now knocked down either way, but, okay, is that? I'm not sure. I guess it managed to st or something managed to stun him just before he swung, probably that right there, which is about to die. And, let's see, yeah, okay, yeah, so you can see the Gym Command Light Armor ha is very strong, but the one thing it does not have is really good Vulcans. So, about 47 damage a shot to whatever that was is over there, you know, crouching with next door to zero hit points. But, uh, it also has a variation on the, uh, stripped beam rifle of the, uh, uh, standard Gym Light Armor, but I... I forget what the characteristics are. I think it has more build stun, but also overheats quicker. I may be wrong on that, but that's first thing off the top of my head, so let's go with that. I have not actually run this myself in a long time, so... But yeah, I do like it. Like I said, it's got that killer downswing. I like most of the uh, token pack suits they put out, and I like that they are making them more uh, available now. Because that is, uh, you know... One, when GBO uh, 2 first came out, one of the things they uh, more or less promised was that everything would ultimately become available without, you know, spending for tokens or for, uh, uh, or, you know, for token packs. So I am, you know, perfectly happy to see uh, things, you know, just turn up you know, available to anybody. And, you know, always like that, always want more of that. See, bomb planted at the Allied base. That is a uh, gym, desert gym, which is now very dead, because, yeah, he did a huge amount of damage with that downswing. And, let's see. Yep. And heavy stagger from uh, the gym camo there. And big swing, big kill. And here is uh, a gym cold district, which, not a good matchup, because with type advantage and that machine gun, and 2100 health, that's... Yeah, I, I'm glad uh, Merrick's got the team with him, because that is otherwise a not-great combination. Merrick is ejecting for a moment to uh, get some more repairs. I think that's a good move. Whole team is here, so... Yeah, that, that should work. Number one, I believe, is also ejected. They are so far ahead that... Uh, yeah, they're just letting the base bomb go off, and I feel like that's, you know, perfectly, you know, fine and wise. And, yeah, this this one, and this one, okay, yep, and now there's bomb planted here. I feel like that's overkill, but uh, I also feel like we're about to see more overkill with the entire, you know, allied team here. K 
camping the enemy uh, spawn point here way back at the base, so it's definitely going to be a little bit of a one-sided match, I think, unless they really uh, pull it together in the last three minutes here. But, uh, but yeah, let's see. Yeah, America, as a matter of fact, uh, just seems to be just uh, taking off because... Okay, well, he's taking off because most of his team is starting to get uh, worn down here, so... Yeah, it's... Uh, he's trying to... Uh, he's pulling back, I think, because, yeah, if they all stay at the uh, enemy base, they're just going to all get picked off, so... He's waiting by an allied spawn point, and I think hoping everybody else will turn back up here. Which... one of them did. The other two... don't know. Um, probably at one of the other points. Yeah, team's a little spread out, but so far that's not, uh, you know, so far th that's not an issue. They've got two minutes left. Okay, pilot over on that side. He tried to uh, tag them with the Vulcans. That would have been really neat if he'd hit them. I, ha I have a hard time hitting things between buildings frequently. But, okay, and that is a kill of another Gym Command Light Armor. And that is... That, I think that may be another command light armor, which makes sense. You know, once everybody's got it, they're going to want to try it. So, uh, that might be one of the other uh, gym models. It's hard to tell with the camo on. But, yeah, this is... Uh, yep, both sides have uh, destroyed the other bases. They are, you know, maintaining a fairly consistent 2-to-1 here. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, stuns in about two hits that, uh, that rifle and just really, uh, really does hit hard. So, it's another kill. And, yep, one minute remaining or thereabouts. Gonna be interesting to see the final, you know, kill and death count. I don't think, I don't think Merrick has died yet, so that's really good. He's, uh, stopped to repair a couple of times, uh, in lulls, and that is always a good idea when you can. Um, you know, as long as you're not leaving your, uh, your team vulnerable, and he really didn't at any point. He waited till the enemy team was wiped and then stayed with his team to get repairs, which is, I, f I feel like, a uh, wise way to do it. Um, and there goes the pilot for that mobile suit. And, okay, yeah, the Jim Cold tried to tackle, but if you tackle first, you're in trouble. Um, and it's in trouble. And it's not just in trouble, it's dead. Let's see... Looks like... Okay, yeah, Merrick is uh, running down here, I think, to try and uh, preserve his uh, no-death status. Um, yep. Enemy just spawned in, so if they decide to come over the wall at him, that may be a problem. But, yeah, he's just hanging right here, I think, in the hopes of just baiting somebody coming down there so he can uh, grab them. But, uh, okay, th uh, somebody caught them with a flash grenade, so they are up. Ah, that's a Gundam ground, so yeah, it used its flash bombs to uh, hold them in place, yeah, and Merrick got through that without dying once, so very nice. It's hard to do in a raid, for sure. 3360 out of 12,000, 97,000 damage, um, and uh, yeah, 8 to 0, very, very nice. And that is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! So, I'm still trying to get decent rounds with the Banshee Norn and DJ Traversia. I'm doing better, but just, yeah, I, uh, I'm, for whatever reason, I'm having a really hard time with them. Um, part I'm just not gelling with the, with the teams at 650 and 700. I don't play those costs as often as I used to, in all honesty. But also just, yeah, it's, it's given me a hard time. If anybody has a link to a, some really good Banshee Norn and or Traversy a gameplay that's already up on YouTube. I, I'd love to take a look for myself just so I can maybe get a feel for uh, better ways to do what it is I think I'm doing.